Welcome back to Swift Lessons for another Buy Request Song Tutorial. I recently had the pleasure of seeing the great John Lodge of the Moody Blues in concert at the Ocean City Music Pier, and I was blown away and instantly reminded as to why the Moody Blues are one of the most groundbreaking bands of all time. So for the first time, let's jump into their catalog. We're gonna learn how to play their 1967 classic, Knights in White Satin. Before we get started, let's check out some new equipment. Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating the tune using the AT2020 condenser microphone by Audio-Technica. If you're just starting a home recording studio and you're on a budget, this is hands down the microphone that I would recommend for you because it can really give you some professional results. I'm gonna be giving away this microphone. If you wanna win it, all you need to do is text me at the number you see here on the screen, the name of the mic, AT2020, and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. Good luck. Now, let's get started with a demonstration of the tune. I want you to see what you can figure out on your own, then you can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. White setting never reaching the end. Letters I've written never meaning to send. Beauty I've always missed with these eyes before. Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love you Yes, I love you Oh, I love you at people some hand in hand just what I'm going through they can't understand some try to tell me thoughts they cannot defend That's what you want to be you be in the end And I love you Yes, I love you Oh, I love you Oh in white satin never reaching the end letters I've written never meaning to send beauty I've always missed 
these eyes before Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of E minor. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, so that was pretty simple. We have two basic chords there. An E minor, 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D string, strum an E to E, and a D sus 2 chord. Alright, that's going to be 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, open high E string, strumming from the D string down. Now the easiest way to count this tune is in 6-8 time. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Strum it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now on the second go around, you might hear this cool little slide trick. On the E minor chord. So right there I played. Down, down, up, down, up, slide. Up, down, up. And then on to the D sus 2 chord. Okay, you put all that together and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, down, down, up, down, up, slide, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then into the verse section you go. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro down, and now you understand how to play the basic strumming pattern and two of the chords we're gonna be using throughout the tune. All right, so now we're jumping into the verse. Here we're gonna have the E minor to D sus2 for two repetitions. Same strumming technique. Nights in white satin Never reaching the end then in line number three, we're gonna play. Letters I've written. All right, so right there, we had two chords. C slash G. That's frets three, three, two, zero, one, zero. A C major chord with a G in the bass. You'll have that for one measure. And move to a basic G major chord. Frets three, two, and three on the high E string, strumming E to E. Okay, then the final line we're gonna play. Never meaning to say. Alright, so right there we had an F major seven slash C to E minor chord change. All right, that F major seven slash C, that's going to be frets, starting from the A string. Three, three, two, one, open. F major seven with a C note in the bass. And then back to the E minor chord, where you start it. You put all that together, and we have one verse, but it's actually going to be all the different verses because they're played verbatim. Should sound like this. See if you can play along. A one, two, three, four, five, six, E minor. D sus two. Never reaching the end. C slash J. Letters I've G major. The F chord. Never meaning. E minor. 
then we're into verse number two, which we played verbatim. Beauty I've always missed with these eyes before. C slash J. Just what the truth is. F major seven. I can't say anymore. And E minor. Alright, then that's gonna get us into the chorus section. Okay, now breaking down the chord progression and strumming options for the chorus. We're gonna get started with an A major chord. Now some chord sheets are gonna say A dominant 7, but to me that doesn't sound quite right. I'm gonna stick with the garden variety A chord. I'm gonna have that for two measures. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll switch to the C slash G chord for two measures as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm alternating back and forth twice uh, between E minor and D or D sus2. It's your choice. All right, you put all that together and it should sound like this with the vocal. A one, two, three, four. Cause I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, how I love you. To the D chord. E minor. And I like to let that ring before. Moving into verse number three, which is played verbatim. Okay, now moving into the second half of the tune, we're gonna have a bunch of repetition here. Verses three and four, as I mentioned, are verbatim, as is chorus number two. Now the only thing you need to know for that second chorus is at the end of it, there's this kind of connecting tissue taking you into the instrumental section. Okay, so starting from the end of the chorus, it'll look and sound like this, a nice little riff. Yes, I love you. again and let the D chord ring all right then we're gonna play all right so here we're mimicking what the bass and the drums are doing I have an E minor chord I'm gonna strum it once let it ring and then play two two three strum the E minor chord once again Maybe just the E string or just the low notes within the chord. All right, then I'm gonna play a percussive hit. I collapse my hands over the strings so that way they're all dead. And with those muted strings, I'm going to chop with my right hand or my strumming hand, driving my palm and the pick into those muted strings. You put that together and we have. From there we have the instrumental section which has this really beautiful flute melody laid over top of it. But in the first part of this section we have an E minor to D major to C major to B dominant 7 chord progression with this very unique kind of picking technique over top of it. Now I'm going to kind of synthesize this for you, make it a little bit more easy to learn and give you something that's really straightforward. So here's what you can play in this section, something like this. Real slow, get it into your ear. Okay, so in this section, you have the choice of using alternate picking with the pick or hybrid picking, working in your middle finger. Now what I'm playing here is. Okay, if you're using the hybrid picking technique, basically what you're gonna do is play the pattern. E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, G. But 
the first note is going to be a strum of the E minor chord. Strumming through, and then using your middle finger to grab the high E string inside that strum. And then you're gonna continue that pattern. Alternatively, you can use the alternate picking technique. All right, just make sure you keep that pick alternating. Strumming all the way through. And slowing down there at the end. All right, then over the D major chord, I'm gonna use all pick. All right, getting that very cool lick that you hear in the original track. All right, so we're gonna strum through, then go to the B, G, and then back the way we came. Before playing. All right, so that was a hammer pull technique. That was two, three, and then pulling off, down the two, and then the open high E string. Then we're just arpeggiating the D major chord. Three, two, four on the D string, and then the open D string. All right, so far you have. Then repeat the picking technique over the C major chord. Then a B dominant seven chord. Holding down frets two, one, two, zero, two. The five chord in the key of E minor. All right, you put all that together and we have. The D chord. The C major. And the B. All right, from there, we're going to repeat uh, that same exact chord progression, but now strumming with that 6 8 feel. The D major chord, the C chord, and the B7. Then we're on to another chord progression E minor. C slash G, back to E minor, C slash G. Now alternating A minor to B7. B7, A minor, B dominant seven. The dynamics start to rise here and we're back to progression number one. Faster strums, D major. C slash J. But now we're gonna skip the B7 and go right back to the chords that we had in our intro. E minor. D or D sus2. Nights in white satin. All right, and just like that, you're back into the verse section. At this point, you've learned everything you need to learn because it's just gonna be repeats from here. We're gonna repeat verse one, verse two, and the chorus to close up shop. I wanna thank my patrons for making this lesson possible. I hope you found it useful. And remember, if you need some extra guidance, you can always head to patreon.com slash with lessons where I have tabs, sound slice, backing tracks, and a ton of other resources to help you out. Until next time, this is Rob coming at you from the Jersey Shore saying happy picking.